I'm going to discuss using time zones and trading hour settings in Pro Real Time. To access this, go to Options, choose Platform Options, and then go to Time Zones and Trading Hours. This menu will pop up. You'll be able to define the time zone used for data displayed in the platform for all data or use different time zones for different markets. If you choose all data, you can select the time zone and this will be used for all data in the platform. The help bubble shown here also specifies that this affects the times displayed in charts, in order lists, and also in tick by tick lists. So for example, no matter which exchange you've placed an order on, the time of the order will always be shown in the time zone you've displayed here if the first option is chosen. Let's instead check the second box. Use different time zones for different markets as specified below. You'll now see that in this bottom part, the time zone has become active. And I can choose for each market whether I want to use the local market time zone or a custom time zone. I can click here to apply the changes and then I will see that the time zone changes will take effect after you restart the platform as long as you save before quitting. You can also make changes to other markets such as Euronext here. I could choose a custom time zone for this market for example. If I choose a custom time zone and apply my changes you'll see that the name becomes in italics. The italics signifies that there has been a customization for this particular tab. Let's go back to Forex and let's look at trading hours. Trading hours determines the range of time for which data is displayed on intraday charts. If you want to display all available data, you should choose the first option. The second option can be used to restrict the amount of data displayed in charts to include less time than is displayed by default. The times chosen in this section are always based on the market's default time zone, regardless of whether a custom time zone has been set for the market or not. The beginning time must always be earlier than the ending time, for example, from 10 a.m. to 4.15 p.m. This option only affects charts, it does not affect lists of instruments, or tick by tick lists. So the only time you want to use restricted trading hours is if you want to see only specific times on the chart for the trading information. This could be used, for example, if you wanted to only display the times of the day when there's the most trading. For some markets, you will have the weekend data option. This enables you to check this box or uncheck it to decide whether you want to display weekend data on the charts or not. Daily data, you can choose to apply the settings above to non-intraday timeframes, for example, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. So, for example, if we check this box and we look at the help bubble, we see that when the box is checked, non-intraday candlesticks, open, high, low, and close information for daily, weekly, and monthly, and yearly time frames will be created based on intraday data only during the time frame and time zone selected. This option can also be used, for example, for the Forex market if you want to set the opening time and the closing time to times that are different from the default time. Let's look at an example. Say for the Forex market, we want the opening of the daily candlesticks to begin at midnight New York time. I can select New York time here in the time zone and make sure that these settings apply to non-intraday time frames is checked. Click apply changes. Then my daily candlesticks will use the midnight at UTC minus 4 as the opening time.
As a quick demonstration, I've reset my platform and we're now looking at the euro dollar chart using the New York time zone. At midnight, we see that the price is 1.2874 in five minutes. And if we go to the daily chart, also using this time zone, we see that the open price for the daily chart is also 1.2874. To wrap up, just remember that you can easily set the time zone to be the same for all of the markets, and that's probably the simplest thing to do in most cases. However, ProRealTime also does let you use different time zones for different markets. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.